by faith the simplest, poorest, weakest individual who takes hold of this strong and all-sufficient Christ may rejoice in the assurance of their salvation. Arthur Weiser, the Old Testament scholar, plays a little on the notion that the word for belief and faith in the Old Testament scriptures, Amen, is, is the word from which Amen comes. When we say Amen, what are we saying? Well, we, we say it in different ways. Some of us just say Amen, but what we are really saying is we are punching the air and we are saying, yes, it's true, yes, it's true. In the Old Testament scriptures, to believe, to have faith, is to say Amen to God and His promises. To believe is so to rest myself on all that God is and promises to be in the gospel of Jesus Christ in such a way that I rest on all the implications of His saving grace. To believe is so to rest myself on all that God is and promises to be in the gospel of Jesus Christ in such a way that I rest on all the implications of His saving grace. And I accept the implications of those saving graces. Actually, when you read through the New Testament letters, you see that constantly this is what Paul is doing. He's saying either you're not resting on the implications for the Lord of that Amen. In Him, the Amen is said to all the promises of God. You're not grasping how great Jesus Christ is. Or you're not allowing to filter into your life, into the practicalities of your daily existence, the implications for you. To believe is so to rest myself. And all that God is and promises to be in the gospel of Jesus Christ.